First, I had to clean up this mess, trim the edges, get rid of the hanging insulation, and wipe down the old underbelly so I could glue a big patch under the hole. Since it was so easily accessible from above, I glued the patch in by itself from below, then added the insulation from above. There was also a second hole under the washer and dryer. Since the subfloor here hasn't been replaced yet and isn't as easy to remove as the new subflooring, I had to do that part of the insulation from below while I was patching that hole in the underbelly. Here I had cleaned up the first hole and attached one end of the patch before gluing the rest up. I did the one end first so I could give it some time to bond before I pulled it tight across to the other end. Here's the first patch in place. I just needed to trim a little more insulation here to get it ready for the new insulation. Here's the patch under the second hole, and here's the view from above. I didn't want to leave these wires exposed, so I used a corrugated wire loom like you'll find under the hood of a car. There are tools for putting wire through these things, but I didn't want to make a special trip when I could just make my own tool out of, you guessed it, Instamorph. So now I'll just end this here with one more before and after. <laughs>